All right, guys, just bought my fourth Titan. And this one has been nothing but a nightmare. Um, bought it locally at a dealership and I'll show you those messages here shortly, but I just wanted to go over the truck real quick. So I bought it completely stock from a dealership about 20 minutes from me and um, not as clean as they said it was. So it was snowing whenever I bought it and um, it was filthy and I asked them to clean it. Well, they didn't clean it. And that's when I noticed these scratches in here. The paint is absolute trash. That's why I've actually been keeping it dirty. Rock chips, paint chips, all on the hood. Bumper was scuffed up. This was literally all hidden. Couldn't see any of it because of all the snow and stuff. Snow and dirt. That's why I asked him to clean it. Nicks in the paint. I mean, good, good gashes. Paint chipping off all over. Um, what I did know was that the rear bumper needed to be replaced. Um, I had seen that it had some rust coming, so a couple dings in it. That I wasn't too concerned about. So I'm trying to find a new bumper actually right now. So then this is where it gets worse. The day after I bought it, check engine light. Normally, I mean, it's a used vehicle. I know stuff's going to go wrong, right? But it was like 50 or 60 miles in. The drive home was fine, but literally the next day. So I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. So it has a hundred, I had like 107,000 miles on whenever I bought it. And I can't remember the code. I can look it up. All right, so I just went back and looked at it. It was seven codes, all right? I'll put them all up there, but it was like something about a misfire and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, misfire, that could be anything. Might be a one-time thing, so I cleared it. Next day, or two days later, um, started happening again. Started actually driving different. <clears throat> so I was like, all right, 107,000 miles. It's time for a tune-up. So I ordered coils, plugs, all new fluids, filters, blah, 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 everything. And in the meantime, while I'm waiting uh, to get uh, all the stuff, we were actually moving. So I had to delay it like a week or two. Um, we aren't moving far, but we had already moved out to Utah. Anyway, um, so yeah, I had to still drive my vehicle. So it was like a week or two of driving with like every now and then misfires. So I was like, all right, it's probably coils or spark plugs. No, no big deal. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, get the truck sort of, you know, start the build going. So I'm going to take the steps off. Actually, I skipped a part. Two days after I bought it, after dealing with, I'm going to show you the dealership interaction I had. It was absolute trash, and I would never recommend this dealership to anybody. They freaking blocked me um, after I called them out on this truck. Um, anyway, so two days after I bought it, I walk outside. Someone had hit it, and it was in the front bumper. I'll show you in a second whenever I get done with this. And I was like, I cannot catch a break. So now it needs front and rear bumpers, right? And then a week after I bought it, I was leaving my shop, turned the key, dead. I'm like, oh my God, like this is after the check engine lights and the dealership screwing me and blah, blah, blah. Starts misfiring and I'm like, what did I buy? So, uh, battery checked out good. Had my buddy come jump me. <laughs> Been good ever since, I cleaned the terminals. Um, just small stuff like that that can be super annoying, but like you can look over. Um, so it's just not gonna keep in mind. So I knew buying it that it needed tires immediately and suspension. So I took the running boards off and I did a three inch lift, um, Bill Stein, front and rear. I tried Rough Country control arms. Uh, they're actually not too bad. Um, took the sway bar off. It's too high. Um, the shop that put them on, uh, put them on the middle perch on top of the spacers that I already have. Um, cause I didn't want to like go full, like king or icon on this truck until I know it's solid. Right. So I just wanted like a kind of a budget friendly option. So now it's like three and a quarter inches of lift in the front. It's too high. It's got the, uh, coil look at contact. So I'm going to drop it down back to the lowest, uh, clip 
on the Bilstein with the, I think it's a two inch spacer, it might be two and a half, but it's like a three and a quarter up right now. So it's just, it's too high. The control arm angle is really bad. So I uh, would not recommend going this high. So I get this slapped on wheels, tires. Looks great, right? Uh, 20 by 10s and 33s for anyone that's going to be curious. Um, so rides okay. It rides, I mean, like whenever I hit a bump, of course, um, the droop, it hits the cold bucket. Um, there's not a lot of down travel on these trucks stock. Okay. Everybody knows that. If you hit a bump, you know, it's, it sucks. Stock rear besides the shocks. Um, so nothing crazy. Anyway, so comes time and my truck's getting way, way worse. Right. So I'm like, all right, I gotta set some time aside to, um, do all this, this tune up stuff. So I get some NGK spark plugs and some highly reviewed coils. I throw them in, start the truck. It's running way worse. So I'm like freaking great. So now I can't even drive my truck. So I go to uh, Z1 Off-Road, which is supposed to be some like Nissan performance uh, website. Oh, and I also ordered coils from them for this truck and FedEx delayed them like four days. So I had to reuse my stock coils. So that sucked. So I returned those. Anyway, spent some pretty big money on some nice coils, right? And spark plugs. Throw all the new ones in. It runs even worse. So I'm like, why am I paying all this money? For it to run way worse than like stock ignition coils with 107,000 miles on them, and the plugs were burnt. I'll, I will say that. So I was like, all right, I'm returning these coils again because these are freaking trash. I took it to the Nissan dealership, and they said, I told them what happened, whatever. Said so it's running worse with, with new coils and plugs. So they go over a whole diagnostic, and they're like, it needs a compression test. And I'm like, if this comes back, that it's a bad engine on a truck I just paid 20 grand for. I'm gonna be pissed. So I leave it there. They do like a whole diagnostic what the truck needs. It was like three grand or something. And I'm like, I, I know that dealership cleared that check engine light because whenever I first bought it and I cleared it for a couple days just to get me by, the truck was driving absolutely perfect, but it would come back on after like 50, 60 miles. So I know they cleared it and they, uh, they can't argue with me otherwise. Um, so anyway, I can't wait to see the conversation. Anyway, so I'm like, oh God, please don't need a new engine. I, I don't know what I would do. We you know with the with the condition of the paint and stuff like that, um, I was like, this it might not be worth it. So compression test coming back good. I'm like, all right, sick. I was like, throw the stock coils back in because I, I don't want to do it for the third time. Uh, I was getting really old. I said, run a full diagnostic. And they said it needs like all these fluids. And I'm like, I know I already need those, but I'm like, what is the cause? And I, I was having two check engine lights very frequently. I'll have to look at it real quick. All right, so it's P0300 and P0175. Um, if you have a Titan, you've probably seen these codes. Um, they're pretty common. Anyway, it ended up being some freaking sensors. And I ordered some oxygen sensors and stuff like that. And, um, I was like, look, with the luck I've had with this aftermarket stuff, I was like, I returned the uh, oxygen sensors and they got me some OEM oxygen sensors and like, I'm, it says AF sensor, I'm assuming air fuel, I have no idea. I didn't even look it up. I just said, all right, do it, whatever. So long story short, from that dealer screwing me, uh, I had to pay an extra two grand at the, the compression test some fluids. I mean, I still have to do some fluids myself. I was like, I'm not paying y'all an extra thousand bucks, 1500 bucks to do some fluids. Um, so they did some fluids, uh, and the all new sensors and labor. And, um, I don't know. It just really rubbed me the wrong way that like the dealer I bought it from said it was like in great condition. Right. And like I said, it was snowing and, uh, snowing and dirty. And I was like, all right, it's probably fine. It's 2014. Right. No, I got played pretty hard, but I got someone that's going to do a paint correction for me. Um, but anyway, just wanted to let you know that this is probably my, I don't even know, at least 20th vehicle, right? I don't think I'll ever buy another vehicle without a PPI, a pre-purchase inspection, um, because I've been screwed a couple times, but like not this hard to where like I bring you 20 grand, you say everything's fine. And then like 
a couple weeks later, I need to spend an extra two. At the end of the day, it's not like a huge deal. Because like now I know this truck's solid. I mean, anything that comes up, I'm going to fix it, right? Uh, except for like a blown engine. But I'm just saying, I this is my fourth one. And uh, it's still they still got me. You know, I knew what to look for, but they still got me stuff I couldn't see. Um, so I'm going to show you the uh, the text or the messages between me and the the guy who runs the dealership. And uh, I'm not going to show the dealership's name, but if you find it, you know, oops. With that being said, though, I do I do like this truck. Um, it's great in the snow. Um, it's Pro 4X, so it's got all the off-road stuff. I've only had LEs, had three LEs. Um, this is the newest one, not the lowest miles that I've had, but um, the truck's going to be fine. I just got to show some love. I'll do a quick little walk around. So as you can probably see, there's the dent. Pretty solid. It's enough to make me get a new bumper. I mean, considering you know, I didn't see all this because it was hidden. Of course, I'm doing some color matching on the grill, headlights, fog lights, mirrors. Oh, here's the here's the angle of the control arm. It's just not good. Um, yeah, it clears, but barely. Sway so bars are removed, debadged. And it's got the discontinued. God dang, amp stuff. So yeah, back in a Titan. I'll make some more videos with what I'm doing to it. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna show you the, uh, the text between me and the company now. And yes, the front is higher than the rear. And I don't really care for that. So it's gonna come back down.